Hello everyone, welcome to this video and in this video I've come to New Taipei City's Lantern Festival. Now, New Taipei City's Lantern Festival is probably the biggest one in New Taipei. I already went to Shiloh Lantern Festival and Shulin Lantern Festival and I tried to see the lanterns in Tainan but I got a bit lost. They might come on the channel in all different orders uh, from what I'm seeing. That's just because I'm going to post them in order of priority, not what I'm seeing. But I will get round to putting them all on my channel eventually. So this is New Taipei City Lantern Festival. This is in the park in Sanchong. This is where I take my dog. It's a massive park in New Taipei. And let's get into it and have a look. I think this Lantern Festival is going to be a good one. But it's busy as hell, so let's get going. Right now, I'm busy powering myself under the dragon like everyone else. The dragon is fantastic. They've made a dragon look mint here. I love it. Look at it. Check out the dragon, man. Isn't that class? They've made it really good here. Under the dragon now, look. Under the dragon. Isn't that mint? Belt of that, like. Belt of means good. This route is absolutely packed, but I wanted to walk under the dragon. We've just walked under the dragon there, that's it behind us. And now we're going to walk under this little god thing. I don't know which god it is, but it's one of the gods. So we're going to walk through here like all these people. Right, we're going under here now, look at that. Isn't that mint? Mint means good, belter means good. It's class this. This is what I expected from a lantern festival. But now I'm in the, the big people waddle. Let's shimmy over here, look. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. All right, we've shimmied out the crowd. This is what I expect from a lantern festival. These kind of lanterns. New Taipei always have their lantern festival in this park now. And it never disappoints. The lanterns are always mega here. I love it. And it's always big as well. So this is one of the bigger lantern festivals that I'll be going to. It's great. If you have a chance, come here to this park that's next to Sanchong Station. This lantern festival is massive. You see the Pegasus behind us. You see the Pegasus behind us. How cool is that? You see the colour they've got on it. Mint. I'm going to try and see as much as I can because there's loads to see here. Like I might even come back another day on my way home. I go past here from work going home so I might stop one night on my way home too. You've seen the detail on the lanterns, how they're all different colours and that. I absolutely love it, man. If you look down here, there's loads, look. I pan the camera around over there, you can see, look. There's lanterns over there. There's lanterns down here. There's lanterns over here, look. Down there, in the camera, they just look like glowing lights, like, but they're all lanterns. This lantern behind us here, this is Matsu, and every lantern festival will probably have a Matsu. It's one of the most popular gods in Taiwan, but this one behind us looks m great. They've did it very well. This bit is really popular. This kind of stuff is really popular all the time now. Get a picture under these lights for your Instagram and that. All of them have this now, a little walkthrough way. I try to get a picture of myself, but it's too busy. This next section coming up looks mega, look at that. This bit looks good, it's like a big Chinese gate, what we have in Newcastle, in Chinatown. I'm at the back of it like, but it still looks good from the back. We're going round the front. We're going round the front and we'll see what the front bit looks like. Oh, the front bit's much better, look at that. 
Isn't that class? I just realised the tunnel we walked through behind us there, look. See if I can get it. I just realised the tunnel we walked through behind us there is the tunnel of love, look. Love tunnel! I just saw something I really like, what they've done here. I'll give you a little look. They've uh, lit up all the seats, look. I'll show you. People are sitting on the uh, seats that have been lit up. You see that? Seats have got lights on them. Go down here, they've got lights on them also. It's quite a good touch that, isn't it? The dragon seems to move. That's why everyone's hanging around the dragon. The dragon seems to move every now and then. If you can hear the noise going on, that's the dragon. I'm not going back to the dragon bit though. There's so much to see. I want to uh, walk around a bit more. This side is not so popular as the middle bit, but I'm gonna walk around it anyway and show you. So to the right side now, there's a bunch of elephants that fit in well. I'll give you a look. At first, I thought the elephants weren't really lit up, but they are lit up. They just made the look like real elephant color. This section here with the uh, fake, the fake uh, light flowers. This is mad popular. Everyone's camping in the middle, taking a picture. It's amazing how this is now more popular than something like this on the other side. So this kind of thing, it's not popular. It's not popular on your pictures anymore. It just looks good. It doesn't make you look good. But you see this flowery stuff on the other side. This flowery stuff over here. People are mental about it, man. They absolutely love it. Off their tits about it, really. Because if you if you crouch down next to that, you get a selfie. You pop it on. It looks belter. That's why they love it. But actually, I'm looking in the camera myself now. Look at that. It does look fantastic. Like, doesn't that look mint? I think it would. I think it would take some time to put all the uh, these lights in here. And it's such a simple idea, but the effect is uh, well good. Look, standing behind us now. Look, doesn't that look mint? It's such a. It is such a simple idea. Just put lights in the grass, but it's so effective. This is a. This is a different style of uh, lanterns. Different style of lights. It's like a board, isn't it, with uh, LED lights on or something? Looks effective though. It's good. It's got tie writing on this one. Look. See the Thai writing? Thailand is so popular now in Taiwan. Try and back up a little bit. That is a big old sign, that. A monkey here, look. They've built them a nice little uh, place to hang out, see? There's loads of people in these lights behind as well. I'll show you, look, what they're doing. The idiots have smashed loads of them. You see them? Picture in the lights. And this is what they've done in the grass. This section of the grass looks amazing. There's a plane going overhead now. Imagine seeing this from the plane. Here's another tunnel look. It's uh, decorated quite nice, this tunnel. We see where these people are sitting here. They've made the middle bit of seat look. You can sit in the big circle thing. I think it looks like it's meant to be a fish. So here they've got like a sexy lady. In Taiwan they call it a lame. It means a sexy lady. I can't explain why I like the Lantern Festival, but I love it. You see when they have them made like this, like traditional style, it's mega. When they've got loads of the traditional ones, like built, made, made to look like something, and got the lights on, different colours and that, good detail, looks good. But you see the ones we went to in Tainan, where they make them like all arty-farty and that. 
so you can get a nice picture for your Insta. Those ones, I don't like them so much. Like, this one around the corner here. This is made for Insta, like, definitely. But this looks quite nice, to be fair. But some of them are just dreadful, man. But then the traditional lanterns look way better. This looks nice, to be fair, though, I'll show you. I see this. It's not like a traditional lantern or not, but they've made it quite well. So, fair enough. People love it these days. But I love the traditional ones. Let us know what you prefer. Do you prefer this kind of style? Or do you prefer the traditional ones like the Lame before? The hot girl? One thing I can tell you for certain is if you come to these bigger lantern festivals and you're expecting to get a picture on your own, on your little Billy No Mates, uh, you're going to have to be standing around for a long time trying to find the perfect moment. But you see, if you go to the smaller little ones, they might not have as many picture opportunities or things to get a picture with, but you'll definitely have space on your own to get a picture. So that is a pro tip. If you want to get a good picture with lanterns, go to the little ones and you can get pictures with no one around. Pro tip, here, you heard it here first. I guess the idea behind these bears, why they're not lit up, is because they're in front of all the lights, look. It gives it a good effect, not lighting up the bears, but lighting up the background. It is a good effect, that. There's more people in the grass, look. So, I am going to waddle in the grass without trying to break any of the lights. That's why I'm looking down. And I am going to use my camera because I can reverse the lens in that. So I'm going to see if I can get a picture on me, Bill. See what it looks like from the camera. I Oh, I just broke one by accident. Whoops. So let's see how it looks. So you see that behind, that is the look people are going for, you see. It does look quite good and it's probably better not using my iPhone to take the picture because the iPhone gets loads of reflection. If anyone uses iPhone they'll know what I'm talking about. The iPhone at night is dreadful. I really like how they've done these trees. I don't know if they'll come across well. but the white light I can see on the thing it's just glowing but I really like them and they look mint they're so good I know I've said mint so many times I really like how they've done that it's so bright though the thing with me is I often end up liking the ones no one else really likes I like those trees behind us there's no one there they're not popular but I just the way they've been created they look well good I'm going to nip round back to the dragon through this donut, get a bit more of the dragon and then I'm going to head off. We'll just nip through this donut here, look. Through this donut, back to the dragon, here we go. And over there is the dragon. I've did one loop of the main lanterns now. I'm back at the dragon, so I'm probably going to go back to the dragon. Have a quick look at the dragon and then call it there. Head back home. Here's the dragon now. Maybe I got back for it starting to move, I don't know. There's this many people just lurking here. There's been this many people here all night. It's hard to get a good air view of the dragon, but there you go. That's the dragon, and at certain parts of the night it does move. Let's see if I can tap the focus, get a better view. So that be the dragon. All right, I've did one full loop now with the main lantern section. This has been New Taipei Lantern Festival. That's the dragon behind us there. This part is crowded. Everyone wants a picture with the dragon because it is the year of the dragon. Uh, I think it moves at some point. And well, that's it. So let us know what you think of this lantern festival. And I'm going to call it a day there and head back home. Let us know in the comments, do you think this one's good, bad, whatever. Click like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers for watching. Bye.